today we're going to focus on making music yes and when you think about making music wait till you see where we're going into Joel and I are down here in Macon. I've done a channel here, did something on the channel here a while back, and um, you've seen some of these things, but today we're gonna focus on making music. Yes, and when you think about making music, wait till you see where we're going into. This has been, I don't know, this has been a hopeful for a long, 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 long time, and uh, we're gonna do it today. We're going into the Otis Redding Foundation I think there's a grandson in here of Otis's that we're going to meet. I can't wait to go in. Come on, let's go. So this is the Otis Redding Foundation. Oh, uh, I can't believe this. I want you to look. I want you to look. Oh my gosh, the stories I could tell. You know, I'm a child of the 70s. And look who we have here. This is incredible. You are? I am Justin Andrews, uh, Director of Special Projects and Outreach here at the Otis Redding Foundation and also grandson of the legendary Otis Redding. Grandson of Otis Redding. Well, I, I must tell you, um, my wife and I, Joan, were in Memphis here mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. And you know where we had to go, had don't to go you? Stacks. We went to Stacks, man, Stacks. and we did a huge video on Stacks. And when your grandfather popped up, it was just like, I could be, I could be still. <laughs> Especially when he was doing the Monterey. Monterey, of course. Holy moly. Monterey. Was that was something else. Well, Monterey. look at this. If you don't mind, look at these pictures that yeah. you've got here. This is, oh my goodness, look at here. Of course, you know, everything comes from, you know, Mrs. Redding and, and her archives. So without her, uh, we wouldn't have all this great stuff to hear. So, you know, we got to definitely thank her for that. Oh, it's um, incredible. Look at yeah, this. Get some experience of, uh, you know, let people see, you know, of course, no Otis as a musician, but Otis as a, a person, you know, as a yes. businessman, as a family man. Um, and he was, uh, you know, he was all of those. Um, so, you know, that's what made him so well-rounded. He had the business sense. He was amazing voice and artistic talent and was also you know at the end of the day it's all about your family it is fortunately i think i gave you a little bit of back history mm -hmm. um back when i worked for the phone company up in gray georgia mm -hmm. i had the opportunity to go up to the ranch right, right. go up to the ranch in right. round oak in, in round oak georgia yep, yep. and uh that is back then if i remember there was a big archery that said the back, big o ranch still is the big o ranch <laughs> <laughs> always if ever will be and i met uh, your to uncles mm -hmm. when they were probably teenagers or early 20s. Probably so. Dexter and Otis Three. Got it. And I think Otis Three still lives just right up the street he does. here. He does. And I don't know about Dexter. Dexter's, Dexter's in between. Dexter's all over the uh, place. Okay. You know, Dexter does what Dexter does. So. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, let's walk around here. I just want to yeah, show you some yeah, of these yeah. cool, cool pictures. Definitely. Now, um, tell us about the foundation that you have here. So, so, you know, the foundation, what we do here is we really are into kids and music education is what we do here. Um, our biggest component and our major baby is our Otis Music Camp, um, which we'll be doing for 15 years this year. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, we serve um, about 60 kids a year um, in a two week program that we do. Um, and of course they get to learn in it, come in and of course create their all own original music, but we also teach them business. So we teach them law, we teach them copyright. Awesome. We teach them publishing, we teach them how to read contracts so they don't get all their stuff taken away from them. Um, so we teach them, you know, the music business as a whole themselves. Um, so it's been really great for us. Um, so we do that, we have a camp dream for younger kids um, for five to 11. Uh, we do private music lessons at our, our center next door for the kids. We have a, um, a We Write the Songs program where kids get to come oh, in and learn the great. basics of songwriting and song structure. Um, and we also have a program called Beyond the Notes, which is, you know, everything else in art beyond, you know, the music notes. Um, so it's been really, really great for us. Really, really great for us. Um, impacted a lot, a lot of kids not just only in, in central Georgia, but we have partnered with um, like Albany, for instance, we partnered with them and their Boys and Girls Club. Um, we're working on trying to do some stuff with this amazing Stax Academy. And, and yeah, so talking about Stax Academy, I mentioned to you that Jen and I were in Memphis recently mm -hmm. and we saw the big fantastic academy. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll put a link up here in the top where you can see our tour where we were in Memphis and you can see all the great Otis Redding yeah. things of where 
I mean, Otis Redding created, was basically created stacks. Otis was stacks. Yeah, I mean, there was, you had Isaac Hayes, you had Sam and Dave, you had so many others that were part of that. But the roots and the foundation of stacks was Otis ready. It mm -hmm. certainly was. Mm -hmm. And so make sure you take a look at that link and you can see some great memorabilia uh, when you're up there looking at that. All right. So um, I also noticed that if people are fortunate enough to come into Macon from time to time, you do fundraisers and there's some great music of it might be a, a reading in there, there you too. Go. crazy enough <laughs> you know crazy enough so crazy you, you know you're you're doing this now this year um it happens to be uh we're celebrating 80 years of otis Redding. 80 years so he would have been 80 this year in september so we have a, a big celebration plan for september uh the 9th through the 12th right here in, in macon um and we're gonna have all kinds of artists baby or ready go pop up and, oh my and gosh do some singing. where will this be this will be in macon right in macon we're gonna do it right in the heart of downtown um september 9th through the open 12th. air open air <gasps> right in the middle of downtown cool um, oh so yes that's the that's the plan if the world you know yeah gets back how it's supposed and to be, it's going to it is so that's that's our, our big plans for september and of course all of the proceeds go back into of course all of our programming here to keep everything we we have going that's awesome yeah. well let's look around here look yeah. at some of these great pictures here so let's look at these awesome pictures now we're down here kind of off time when the crowds aren't here, but look at this. Is this amazing? And uh, I see I see things about your grandmother here, Miss Zelma. Of course. And let me tell you what, that, that lady is one of the sweetest human. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there, there go. she is. She is the queen. She is the queen and one sweet lady. Yeah, she is. She's one there sweet she lady. She really is. Look at all this stuff. Mm -hmm. This is great. Oh my gosh, look at here. Where was this taken? Which one are you looking this at? This one here where he's doing the I want to say that's at the auditorium. That's the auditorium. the auditorium. Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. Now, for those of you do, that don't know a lot about making history, you'll see this gentleman here in the middle. That's Phil Walden. And Phil Walden was uh, his manager, was Correct. he not? Mm -hmm. And he was also the founder of Capricorn Recording Studios. Correct. Also the founder of the Almond Brothers Band and a lot of other stuff. But look at this. Is this fantastic? Oh my goodness, look at this. So there, if you look at this picture, that's the boys and your mother in this picture. Correct. And that is the Big O Ranch in Round Oak, Georgia. And a very young Miss Zelma. And I have been there. I've been very <laughs> fortunate. What a great place. What an absolutely fantastic place. Well, thank you so much no for the invitation to come in yeah. and record the foundation. We don't always get warm welcomes like this, of course. copyright and stuff like that, but we want to promote Macon, mm -hmm. Macon music. Mm -hmm. Uh, my love for Otis Redding. <laughs> Good Facebook page on that there too you if you're looking at there you go. it. Thank you so much for the invitation. Hey, thank I you appreciate for coming it. in. It's really been really awesome, man. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thank, thank you. Thank really you so much. much so. A lot more to come in Macon. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so we're down at the bottom end of MLK and Cherry. And. Um, Lots of things are down here. Lots and lots of things. One, we're gonna go over here, we're about to starve. And we're gonna go over to Cashman's, have us a little bit of lunch. There's so much music that's happened here in Macon. It's just absolutely amazing when you look at the roots. Uh, we just, you know, lost a great, uh, they call him the architect of rock and roll, Little Richard. And, you know, he used to play the piano in the Greyhound bus station down here is where he started as a teenager. Uh, I showed you Otis Redding's uh, The Foundation and we saw the grandson there just a few minutes ago. That was very spectacular. Um, and, you know, there's Little Richard, there's um, uh, Ronnie Hammond who sang with um, the Atlanta Rhythm Section, and I, uh, Jason Aldean, who is your country artist now, and I could just go on and on and on. So many people who have come from Macon, oddly, when you think about this of being a music roots for so many different genres. One of the places that's really amazing is what I'm getting ready to show you here. This is the Douglas Theater. The Douglas Theater was built in the early 1920s, uh, and this was during the period of segregation. Uh, and this is where so many of your black artists uh, got their start. You had Otis Redding who played here. You had um, 
we're on a very busy street, so bear with me. <clears throat> you had uh, people like James Brown who came here constantly. And, it's, and it is amazing. I wish I could go in, but they're closed today. It is an amazing theater. And uh, Joan and I have been in seen several acts here. Uh, some of the acts that Joan and I have seen here is like Claire Lynch, who is a very famous bluegrass artist. She was fantastic. And then one of my favorites who played for uh, Steely Dan and then had a very large solo career, uh, Larry Carlton. And that was probably one of the best concerts I've seen in years. So we're gonna go on down, uh, we're on MLK, and we're gonna walk down the road a little bit and just see what else that we can find around here. Some really cool stuff in Macon today. We're in the museum now here at Capricorn Studios. This is up on the second floor. Oh, holy cow, we've been in the studio of Capricorn Recording Studios, and there's they've got something going on here where they're doing some type of a recording. Look at this. We're actually in Capricorn Recording Studios. You got oh, listen, and it just went dead. Look at all the guitars here. These are incredible. And all this is house equipment available for any of our musicians to use when they come to work. So this is loner. This is all loner equipment. I can only imagine the. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh. How you doing? Look at this. I am in Capricorn Recording Studios. I wish you could hear it. It is dead. John, are you recording right now? Oh my gosh. Uh, no, I gotta get grab some lyrics okay. to see what we got to with a band code. But um did one fun uh, thing with uh, Arthur Conley. You like good music. Oh, that's right, yeah. that's right. Which uh, was written yeah. by Otis. That's right. Anyway, we did a session with him and Clarence Carter was oh my uh, gosh. producing it. So yeah, a lot of stuff. And one night I asked Johnny Sandlin, I was writing a song on the grand piano that was over on that wall. It was a, it was a nine foot long Steinway from that they had bought from. Uh, we got it from uh, Carnegie Hall. Wow! And uh, I was writing a song on it, and Johnny was working in the studio, and it was real late. And he said, "Tommy, I'm leaving. If you want to stay and work on the song, you can. But you're going to be locked in here by yourself all night till." I said, "Well, night." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was locked in here all night long oh. by myself and saw some ghosts or something, but it's, so, it's a scary place when you're in So here this is the original burlap, burlap. Can you only imagine the stories <laughs> that it knows? Can you only imagine the smell. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's That's the original. Original. So is that the, is that, is that it, the original? It is, yeah. Tom Hidley's 1972 original. Isn't that crazy? Wow. So can we take a peek in there? Or do you have anything? Yeah, yeah, can, yeah, we'll can we look? Since we're taking uh, a break, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Go through our secret door right here. Right here, I know. Look at this. So this is actually the mixing. This, uh, by the way, this room right here, this door is new. This used to be a room unto itself. And uh, I, this is where I would, uh, they would isolate me and I would play acoustic guitar. Really? Uh, while everybody else was out there so that we could mic the acoustic without getting other instruments into the mix. That's crazy. Right? That's crazy. So. so this is the actual, um, this is where the magic happens in here as far as mixing. Look at this, oh my goodness. How are you, sir? Hey, fine, how are you? Oh, I just, this is uh, a dream come true. I've wanted to do this. <laughs> I've I wanted to do this and I, since I sat on the bench at the Byron Pop Festival with the Allman Brothers while we watched Jimi Hendrix play. Wow. Yeah, I did. Welcome. That was early. That was early, early brothers. Where are you guys from? Here. Oh, really? I grew up here. So we saw Bruce Hornsby. You saw the guy that was from Cowboy who was, you know, an actual... Um, uh, studio guy here oh my gosh oh my gosh well we're upstairs in the we're upstairs in the museum look at this look at young phil walden oh my gosh you know he was the founder of capricorn recording and then uh, his partner frank fenter there on the right and uh, that's amazing they actually say that this is frank fenter's briefcase this is, going to be, this is going to be so much different than when we did the big house. And I'll put a link up here so you can see uh, when we went, Joel and I went to the big house about a year ago. 
And um, so what you're gonna see here is more pictures and then you have these interactive displays that are here to be able to see. And, and this is still a very new museum. This is less than a year old. So again, just tons and tons of great art on the walls and stories. And I can only imagine some of these letters. Look at these original letters from Atlantic Recording. Um, I'm going to have a time just showing all this stuff. And there's some nice memorabilia here. Some, you know, some old Capricorn stuff here. And and um, out of wild south, <laughs> and of course, uh, a native son, as we call him here, Jimma Carter. Jimma, President Carter, when he was here, they did a lot of things to help promote him and Miss Roslyn during that period. <laughs> Look at this, holy cow. Oh boy, somebody pinch me. So this is kind of the way this works. You come here and you press this button and I could spend hours and hours and hours here and you kind of thumb through the album you want to hear. Um, so there's Greg Allman's laid back. And then if you want to listen to it, you tap that, put on your headphones here and just jam for hours. So they've got this of all the different Capricorn recording artists that, uh, <laughs> that have recorded here. Oh my gosh. And it is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. It just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Look at this. Just so many tons of Almond Brothers. Look at this. This is a, that one right there is where I discovered the Almond Brothers out of Wild South. And then uh, it changed my music genre listening to for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Marshall Tucker Band. Look at this. I could just do this for hours. I want to give you one more view. I think we're going to go out and try some other things here in town. What a treat that we have had today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What we have seen. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Contracts. Look at this. Look at this. Contracts. This is crazy. And of course, we just left there. There's Otis. That's amazing. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. All right, out the door we go. So we just came out of, you see the, you see the museum behind us. We've been in here for, I don't know, an hour or so, Joel, just talking to, ta talking to the guys from back in the day. Now, I'm gonna tell you, uh, yeah, talking about back in the day. Um, this is an incredible place if you look at this. There's the, there's the museum behind 536 here. That's back behind that glass is the actual studio. And at night, that's a two-way glass. They light that up and you can actually see the old Capricorn emblem. And then you see more of the studio that's over here. Look at this, what a great, what a great picture of Otis. Look at this, isn't this something? And uh, what a great way to spend a spring day. And then of course this whole area here, these are lofts now that you can, that you can stay in. And I want you to see this. Yeah, we just met the guy that just restored that mural. We just talked to him for a good 20 minutes about the folks that we know, but there's uh, Greg and Dwayne Allman and of course Phil Walden up at the top. And uh, he just restored that. Isn't that incredible? So cool. Well, what do you think, Joel? Awesome. Really cool. <laughs> Everybody has been so nice to us as we've come in today. And I mean, never expected to get the information that we've got. Oh, so my God. It has been a treat. Oh, there's so much I wish I could have seen, shown. I mean, this video could have just gone for hours. We met the coolest people down at Capricorn. And there were so many folks down there that were there for a special event. And they were playing some music, just some great guys. And ladies, too. It was fun. Joel, you said, I'm going to quote Joel here. You said, this was true Southern hospitality. Yeah, it was. The doors were open to us. They didn't know us. And we just had a phenomenal time. Well, we got some more fun for downtown Macon. And uh, we're right here on Poplar. So we just ran into the whole crew that was down at 
Capricorn Studios that we were in earlier. <laughs> they were all coming up here to have dinner and they left us posters, hand signed, every one of them. Uh, we ran into the bass player of Dickie Betts, the grandson of Barry Oakley. Barry Oakley. Yeah, how cool is that? <laughs> how cool is that? Barry the grandson cool. of Barry Oakley. Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't end and they just went name drop after name drop. Oh my gosh, what an end to an incredible day. We're gonna finish the day where we started. Right behind me is the Otis Redding Foundation and wasn't that just an absolute blast? We had so much fun there. Wasn't Capricorn cool? Wow, what a fortunate event that we were able to go in and actually see the uh, recording studio. That was a blast. I wish we could have got into the Douglas. That would have been so much fun, but at least you get a little piece of history there. I had links earlier where you could go to the big house, but look, go to ilovervlife.com. I'll have a blog with today's video there as well that you can share with friends. Tons of links for everything that we've seen today and maybe some other fun stuff to do when you make that trip down to Macon. Oh, I love doing this. Of course, of course I love RV life.